Hi everyone. So, uh, as I mentioned in previous tutorials, I want to discuss a bit of sound design. And uh, today we'll go a bit more technical, less uh, deeper concepts of uh, sound design, but more of how you can actually utilize some of the tools you have in your own arsenal. Um, I'll be discussing today how you can basically FM any sort of uh, soft synth you have, whether it has FM or not. And uh, we'll even uh, delve a bit deeper into serum, uh, into serum, as, uh, sorry, serum effects and how you can utilize most of the of the effect and not just the effect section of it. Uh, by that I mean we can we'll discuss how you can use the envelopes, the LFOs, and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, I'll begin with the FM8. So uh, this is like I said more of the technical side of it on how you can actually route everything in a very uh, in a simple way. So you so it would be controlled via MIDI without opening. Uh, so many channels and sending one and all that. This this can all be done within one instrument uh, instru instrument track. And uh, I'll show you exactly how am I doing it. So uh, first thing, let's just open up. I made one earlier, as you can see here. But uh, we'll go through how you can make it as simple as possible by yourself. Okay, so I'll just delete that. Okay. So first things first, I'll go to the instruments and choose an instruments rack, instrument rack, sorry. And I'll just click and make two chains here. Just for the sake of uh of uh being organized, I'll just name everything. So the first thing would be synth. Whoops, I forgot the tab is not working here. And the second one would be uh I'll just call it MIDI input. Sorry, my phone, I just need to put it on sleep mode. Yeah, okay. Um, so, as you could have probably guessed by now, synth will be the actual synthesizer that I want to use. Uh, in my case, uh, I think I'll go with, with uh, Serum. Although I know that Serum has an FM uh, function in it in the warp menu here. But uh, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to extend it by using the FM8. Okay. Um, next thing to do would be to go an, again to the instruments and go and choose the external instrument and drop it on the MIDI input, which is my second chain. Um, next, we, we shall open the FM8 FX and drop it right after the the serum or, or or your synthesizer of your choice okay cool now as you can probably tell by now let me just make sure that it works why i'm not hearing it not hearing any of it oh yeah because it <laughs> I, I need to open up the input sorry yeah so the first thing you you need to do just so you'll be able if i'll just disable it bypass it just see whoops okay yeah it seems to work somehow yeah okay cool so just so we could hear it going through the FM8 we need to activate the input by right clicking it and 100% so we'll just be able to hear it goes out directly. Of course later we'll just uh, put it through other uh, operators and like the uh, filter and the saturator noise one etc. Okay so the first thing to do because as you can see I'm only sending me uh, my MIDI to the serum and this one is not receiving anything so just to show you I'll just uh, push it through here Oops. and nothing yeah 
So I'll go to my MIDI input and in the external instrument, I'll choose the actual channel that I'm on, which is instrument track one. As you can see, uh, it instantly uh, it, it instantly routed me to the FM8. And now, whenever I'll click a note, you can see it push it, it, it clicks as well on the in the FM8. Um, another thing which is sort of cool, I mean, you can kind of disable Serum and just throw it, throw a, like a, put the operator F output, and now you're having both of them. Uh, but I don't want to use that. I just want to use the FM function on my. I just want to FM my input. So let's just open it up. Yeah, cool. And now I can just go crazy with it. So let's just make some sort of a bass. And you can use anything here. Like the envelopes and the LFOs and whatnot. Yeah, this is like the simplest form of making it. Um, <clears throat> anything else to discuss? Maybe here in the in the master section you can just put it to mono if you're using like a mono uh, input okay uh, now here's another cool trick that would uh, make life much easier to some here on my MIDI input um, chain in my instrument rack what I like to do sometimes is to go to my MIDI effects and put a pitch before it. Now, why is it uh, helpful? Because now you can make super cool things like playing uh, the FM. The FM8 would play like a fifth if you're just putting like seven tones up. Please don't crucify me if I'm mistaken. I, I never took theory, <laughs> but uh, I think this is correct. <laughs> Um, you can play with other values. You you can just choose whichever note you wanna, and it just gives you different and super cool results. And now, of course, you can just FM away. And uh, let's just uh, show you an example of what you can do. You can also use the filters. And of course, the cool thing is that uh, because it receives um, like MIDI, MIDI gate basically, when you're hitting a note, so it would restart the envelopes and it would just uh, initialize each and every time if you haven't ch uh, changed anything from inside the FM8. And uh, yeah. This is uh this is the first thing you can do. Just um, this is what you can do with with the FM8, and of course you can go much deeper and just and everything you'll change. I mean, the downside uh is the uh anything you do on this on Serum, for example, would be uh like a it would be as if this is just one operator, all of this, regardless of the complexity. So um, let's let let's just take uh, this and we'll just make this um, use FM from here. I'll just disable for a second the FMA. So whenever I'll be using this. So this would be considered as one uh, operator, which in our case would be the carrier. This would be FM'd by this, okay? And uh, I think that potentially what you can do is also just let's, for example, take this one. We'll just turn this off. 
Now you don't hear the serum because you're hearing only uh, operator B. No, D, sorry. Uh, let's take it down like two octaves so we'll be able to hear proper sub. Yeah, not exactly proper, but that would do. I think that potentially you can just send... Yeah, you can... You can actually turn your sound, your operator, into a modulator. It just depends on how you're uh, basically uh, routing everything from, uh, like, the, the matrix here. Um, okay. Of course, you can use the effects as well. Everything from the Taqua. Which sounds terrible, but anything here is for your, uh, for your use. Pitch envelopes can also use like the where is it um, hell is, oh yeah easy stuff play with the macros etc okay um, this was how to utilize FM8 um, properly uh, using uh, the FX version of it and now I'll show you how you can use serum effects and then maybe we'll just kind of combine them. Okay, so this is the serum effects. Um, in my case, I think I want to use actually one of Ableton stuff, like let's choose the operator. Oh yeah, this is my default preset for an operator, just two octaves down, gliding, just in parallel. Everything, uh, each operator has uh, goes directly to output. Um, yeah, so let's begin. So you probably you are probably familiar with the actual effects uh, section in Serum. So uh, Serum effects is kind of great for for this sake, for the sake of like uh, using all of these, but. I heard that many times people want to use like uh, to modulate stuff, and uh, of course, uh, there are so many ways to do that. But this one I think would be a bit better. I mean, you can go to the Max for Live and uh, drop in like an uh, LFO or an envelope or an envelope follower and all that stuff, and just uh, map it, you know, configure and stuff. But um, <clears throat> I think that once you kind of realize how to do this sort of chain here, these two chains, you can um, you can control serum much better. And like I said, the same thing goes here as it as it goes uh, in the FM8. Um, the second this one is routed into like the serum effects, uh, each note would kind of initialize it if you haven't chose differently. For example, with the, uh, l let me demonstrate. Let's say I wanna use uh, LFO1 to modulate the drive, for example. Nothing, nothing too interesting, okay? Um, now it goes, now the mod is, is off. So, but if I'll choose trigger, each time I'm actually hitting a note, it would re-trigger it, um, which is pretty cool. Because like I said, it kind of initializes things. Um, okay, so this is like the first thing to do. I know that you have this uh, note latch function that it would kind of, uh, if I'll disable this, I think, yeah, it would just keep on going and going and going, but if you don't want to use this note latch and you want to actually control the um, the modulation with every, with every note hit, uh, you can just do that exactly the way I showed you. You're just routing it to the, um, to the uh, channel you're using, and then it would either automatically automatically would uh, route itself or if for example let's add in here another FM8 FX where is it 
have I made? Have I made? Load it. Oh, whoops, wrong channel. Yeah. So now you can choose from which one of them you want to use the FM8 or the Serum FX. If you have um, like these two on on your uh, like as effects, like on your effects uh, effects chain, you can pretty much just duplicate this one, the MIDI input. You can name it. I mean, this would be Serum FX and oh, again. This would be FM8 FX. So now you're just going to the drop down and just choosing FM8 FX, and then you can, and you see it goes both here and there. And same thing again. Let's just close this. Now we can FM our uh, Serum FX patch. Yeah, super easy and super cool. Um, anything else? Unfortunately, the filter and like all of this section is kind of irrelevant because once you just, um, let's say you're just taking this, you're uh, opening, like enabling oscillator A. So it kind of reacts like in uh, like Serum, the instrument version. Which is still cool, but uh, I mean, you can, all things considered, you, you don't really want that. You want to um, play with the actual synth you have before that, in my case, operator. So, And uh, yeah, I guess that is it. And this is how you can do that. Um, I hope you find it useful. And just uh, enjoy that. Thank you for watching.